All right, welcome to this R tip on the patchwork package. And this is a super cool package that allows us to combine multiple ggplots into one ggplot. It's really sweet. Um, so to get started here, we're going to be making this plot here, which is actually three different plots, a geographic plot, a time series plot, and a ridgeline plot. And we're going to combine them all with the patchwork package. So to get started, what you need to do, you need to sign up for the weekly R tips. I have a link in the video notes, and this will get you access to all the code that you see here. You just do a git pull. That's going to pull down your uh, files. And what it'll do is it'll open up with all of the code from all 35 of our R tips that we have now. So we're going to be working out of 035 patchwork. Just click this and that'll open up this file here and uh, open up the outline and you'll be able to follow along. Okay, libraries to get started. We actually don't need this here. I'm just going to delete that out. Uh, we're going to be using patchwork, grit, GG ridges, GG repel, the maps library, tidyverse, and lubridate. Okay, so uh, what we'll do is control enter. You're going to run those and you'll be set to go. Uh, the only data transformation to begin with, we're gonna be working with the TX housing, which is Texas housing data set. And the only transformation that we're gonna need to do is convert the year and month into a uh, column called date. So when I run this, um, it's going to now make this date column a date value, and that'll make it easier to plot our time series. All right, next, we're gonna start making some subplots. So this is like a master's class in ggplotting right now that you're getting here. So uh, we're first going to do a time series. So I'm going to take my TX housing. I'm going to take the date and medium columns and I'm going to group by city. And I'm going to create a geom line. Control enter. What that does is it makes a bunch of these lines up here. Um, I have the coloring set to, to gray 20. So they're very faint in the background. Um, then I'm going to add a geom smooth smoother. And the key here is that we need to remove the groups. I'm using group null. And this allows us to create a smoother that smooths out the trends for all of the time series and gets the trend of the tent, the central tendency of the trend. There we go. Um, and then what we're going to do is add some theming. And when we do that, you now get a GGTX time series, which looks something like this. Um, just a very dark black line for the trend and then lighter black lines in the background for each of the cities and their trends. Okay, so that's the first plot that we're gonna be adding. And that is um, gonna be what we have add into our patchwork plot down below. The next plot that we're gonna do is, is called a ridge line plot. So a ridge line plot, is um, a type of plot where we can kind of view it as um, like a density, but it's uh, really cool looking and it'll uh, give some pop to your uh, plots. So what we're gonna be doing is taking our TX housing tibble. And what I wanna do is I wanna grab the cities that are at the top of uh, the top 10. So what I'm gonna be doing is reordering by the median sales price. And uh, I'm going to create some factors and then I'm going to grab the, the top 10 of those factors. That's what this does here. And it segments it down to the 1500 um, values that are for the top 10 from 8600. So um, once we have that squared away, we now have our top 10 and we're going to create a density ridges plot. So uh, what I'm doing is I'm taking a GG plot, just piping this data right in um and uh, using this geom ridge line so let me do control enter here and we make a nice ridge line it's got a cool outline here um, we're going to do a little bit of theming down here with theme minimal and um, we're going to convert this access to dollars so when we do that and run all of this we get a plot that looks like this okay cool Next, uh, we're going to do the map. The map is the, the most challenging because what we need to do is we need to take our Texas data, which doesn't have latitude or longitude or any, any um, sort of data other than the city, and we've got to build data around that. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to summarize the data. So I just get it to be the um, each city, lowercase, by the median sales value. 
um, and that's what I'm going to create as my summary data. That's going to be the value measurement that goes on our plot. Next thing, I'm going to use this U.S. Cities data set. This comes from the Maps Library, and this has all the cities um, that comes from the U.S. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter just to Texas, and I'm going to then uh, do a little bit of data wrangling. Um, and then I'm going to join the Texas data. So I'm going to merge my cities data uh, with the latitudes and longitudes in with my housing data. And now I have a table that looks something like this. Um, we'll eventually drop these NAs uh, because some of the cities we don't have information on. Um, the final piece is uh, the outline of Texas. So we're going to use map data and we're going to grab the state and the region. What this does is it gives us latitude and longitude for all of the points that go around the outside of Texas. And that will be for our outline. And then what we do is we start to create a plot. So we're going to first drop the NA to remove any NA values. And that cuts down our data to only these um, cities that we're going to be visualizing. We then create a plot. Um, I'll first do the geom poly to create the outline of the state of Texas. Then I'm going to do geom point to map my individual cities. I'm going to use the text repel uh, to put the names over top of these. And then what I'm going to do is cord map to make it look a little bit more like a map of the state of Texas. And then I'm going to do theme void and some uh, additional uh, ggplotting to get the theme the right way. And there I go. Um, now I have uh, the state of Texas with the top cities by median sales price. Okay, so we've got our three plots. Now it's time to do some patchwork. And this is the central focus of, the, um, of, of this tutorial. So I want to focus on this line right here. Uh, GGTX map plus uh, this divided by that. So what patchwork does is really makes it easy for us to kind of stack our, our plots together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this, um, the, the map, I'm going to add to uh, the division. So I'm going to stack these two on top of each other. And this will go in the left hand column. And then this will go into the right hand column. So watch this. When I just run this line here, patchwork does its magic. And I've got a plot right here, and I've got these two plots stacked on top of each other because they're divided. That's the cool thing about patchwork is it makes it really easy to kind of stack these things on top and manipulate the layout. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a plot layout with a width of three for this column and two for this column. So this is kind of like a ratio three to two. And then I'm also going to add a thing called a tag level. So what this does is um, it kind of manipulates us around, gives a little more space for this, this map and a little bit less space for these, um, but it's a, it's a really nice ratio. Um, then we're gonna add some plot annotation. So we're gonna give a title for the main plot, Texas Real Estate Statistics, the untold secrets of prime real estate in Texas. And we're gonna add some tag levels and some figure numbers. And then uh, the final thing is just to format this. So when I do that, control enter, I have an end result that looks like this, a very professional looking plot with a cool theme. And um, it's just really uh, professional looking and stylish as well. So Texas real estate statistics, the untold secrets of prime real estate. All right. So as you go through this tutorial, you're probably going to want to understand how to learn more. And I'll tell you this, the best course you can take is my data science for business 101 R course. If you want to learn more ggplot, all the tools and tricks and tips that I'm doing in here with the themes and the colors and everything, I teach all of this in my course. Um, you should check it out. And if you're interested, um, you'll learn a ton and it's, I guarantee it's the fastest course that will get you up to speed. All right. Um, until next time, uh, enjoy this R tip and we've got more coming.